Hello everybody, this is Ariane Arsenault from La Fée de la Mer. Today I am here to present a very special soap. It is a collaboration that I'm doing, um, also an experimentation with another local business. It's a local smokehouse. They smoke fish, <laughs> like on my shirt here. Um, and I took them my oils and butters and they smoked it. The idea behind that was to have a smoky scented soap without the addition of a uh, campfire or campfire smoke fragrance. Hopefully the scent will hold through the saponification process and we will have a wonderful smoky soap with no added artificial scent. I even had my olive oil smoked. So this has a very smoky scent and I will add it once the oils and butters are melted. Voilà la pêche. <laughs> oh, 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 I caught a little fish. What are you doing here? On t'a la pêche au petit poisson. Qu'est-ce que tu fais ici? I also had a cute herring stamp made by Savonnerie la Bulle because the herring is the emblematic fish at the smokehouse. Um, of course, there's no fish in my end product, but I thought it was a cute symbol, symbolic to have a stamp on each soap. To my base oils and butters, I am adding some neem oil. It is also produced by Baraka Shea Butter and it is very good for sensitive skins. So I'm gonna be adding it to my mix. It also has kind of a very earthy, smoky scent. So I thought it would be a great mix to my other oils. The last ingredient to go into my soap before I proceed with saponification is local island gray clay. Um, I harvested or collected this clay myself by hand and then I cleaned it, strained it and dried it again so that it would be nice, clean and pure to go into my soap. And I think it's such an interesting process that I filmed part of it and I'm going to share that with you right now. The way that I like to incorporate my clay when I make a soap that is entirely entirely colored with this clay is to um, humect my clay um, in the lye water. When I just do a small portion, I'll add some water to my clay on the side and make a slurry. But because this whole soap is going to be colored with the clay, then I just add it straight to the lye water. In my lye water solution, I'm actually using um, seawater. That's why it was kind of cloudy before I added the clay. And it also has Atlantic sea salt. So I'm using filtered seawater from the islands um, because I want to have a, a very high in salt brine water solution. When making soap and using aromatic components such as fragrances or essential oils, sometimes some fragrances or other aromatic components will accelerate the saponification process. It will trace and it will thicken up faster and then you're kind of in a hurry to put the soap in the mold. I have no idea if the natural smoke will have changed anything to my oils, 
So we're gonna figure that out together. Let's add the lye water. Because I am hoping to preserve the, the smoky scent into this soap, I am working at very low temperature. This has been all day tempering to room temperature. So this is really room temperature soap. I don't really feel a difference between the table and my stock pot. So the color of the clay looks amazing right now. I was hoping that it was, would be a nice gray, kind of greenish, green, gray clay color. And I've never worked with this clay, so here it is. <laughs> so let's talk about textures. Um, as of now, I'm really happy. I can still smell the smoky scent very well. And the soap is very fluid, so it means that it's not changing anything to the, the, the process and to my base oil and butter recipe. This base oil and butter recipe, when it's unscented, uh, gives me plenty of time to work. So depending on what aromatic component I add to it, it may re react differently. But right now, the natural smoke does not seem to be affecting it in any way. So that's good, good news. We are now ready for the pour. Now, just because I can, I'm gonna do a smoky swirl with some activated charcoal on top. time to unmold the soap and I'm super thrilled because this morning the soap still smells super smoky. Before I stamp my soap, I'm going to be beveling them just to give them a more comfortable hold as well as a really nice professional look. It is now time to stamp each of our smoky soap with a smoked herring. The 
Et voilà. There it is. This is how soaps take shape here at the soap shop. I'm really thrilled about this new soap. Um, I'm going to keep on stamping, but I won't keep you any longer because it's the same process over and over for me for the rest of the afternoon. Um, then they will go into a drying tray and they will go to the drying area where they will dry and cure for the next four weeks. The smoky soaps will be available online and in our stores this summer, so you'll have to be a little patient, but they will be here soon. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them down below and always look at our description box as I leave useful links for makers, my social media, as well as my website. Take care, everybody, and see you soon.